Mid Journey is considered the best AI art generation or image generation model right now. We all know what Mid Journey is capable of with its image generations. But the only downside of Mid Journey for some people is that it only provides 25 free image generations at first and then you have to subscribe to a monthly payment after that. So in this video, I'm going to show you an AI image generation model that is completely free to use right now. And the images that it generates are pretty good. I'm not saying they are better than mid journey because I don't want to deceive the people who are watching my video. The only thing is that it is very easy to use. You don't need any discord server. The only thing you need to do is sign up to the website and you are good to go. It is very good for beginners who don't know anything about prompt engineering or how to write prompts in order to get the images so you can practice there and after that whenever you feel like to upgrade you can buy the subscription mid journey subscription as well so in order to access the image generator go to google and type in lexica and then go to lexica.art this is basically free because it provides you with 100 images per month so i mean you can you you can generate a lot of images and these are some of the examples of the images that you, you can create with it. You can even take inspiration from the prompts that are used right here and then use it in your own images. You can even click on an image. Suppose I want to copy the prompt of this image. So I'll click on the image and then you, you can copy the prompt from right here. So just copy the prompt and if you want to generate something similar to this. So just go to generate and then whatever prompt you have copied from there you can paste it right here after pasting in the prompt in this section you can delete some of the things in order to get a bit of a different result so futuristic fashion i'm going to delete futuristic fashion most okay and i'm going to click on generate and it is a very fast software so if you saw that image all these images are somewhat similar to that image and in this way you can get an idea of how to generate your own images you can also start thinking in a way after copying few images and if you look at all these images closely the quality is really good i mean you will not think that this is not good or the, this is not mid journey the quality is really really good the only thing that you need to do correct is write the prompt you should know how to input the prompt that's the main thing whatever tool you are using whether it be mid journey whether it be leonardo.ai anything the only thing is prompt engineering that is very important now if i want to search for something related to cyber city let's search for reference images for cyber city and I want to make something like this, this image right here. So I'm going to copy the prompt and then go back to generate and then paste the prompt. And then what do I want different in this prompt? Let's see. Let me delete this right here. All these things that are written are artists from where the art should be inspired. So <clears throat> let's delete all the artists and then let's see what kind of an output do we get i'm going to click on generate and i got these kind of images that look really really nice so this software is called lexica and the only thing you need to do to access this software is just sign up and it has a very basic layout so you'll not have trouble generating your own images so this is the this is my own prompt that i have put in uh, without looking at any reference images and all and then if i click on generate let's let's see what result we get and i wrote a majestic whale on fire floating in the space with light surrounding it vibrant rainbow hues otherworldly photorealistic hd and the images that came out are pretty pretty amazing so if i want something other than this i can add some more words 
So I change the prompt a bit and then if I click on generate right now, let's see what kind of an image do we get. And look at these images. These images look pretty amazing and pretty colorful. So this is another prompt that I've put in. And then if I click on generate, let's see. Now what the prompt that I've put in, uh, you can use similar prompts that I have put in in order to get these kinds of, of results. Now if you look at the images, they are pretty amazing. I mean, just look at the images. This image right here is really, really nice. So my suggestion to those of you who are doing this for the first time or are not very experienced at image generation can practice by going back to home and whatever image you like, just click on the image and you can copy the prompt from right here, go to generate and then paste the prompt and don't exactly copy and paste the prompt. You can add some of your own inputs and whatever your imagination tells you to do, you can add those things in order to get something really unique and different. So this was the prompt that I copied. I changed the prompt a bit and then these are all the images. So just practice, learn how to do some prompt engineering, learn and widen your imagination and learn to communicate with AI in the sense that you can explain the AI model what you exactly want and you are going to get that result. This was it for the video. If you like the video and find the video helpful, then subscribe to the channel for more such AI related content.